Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about finding uh, rotation and translation between two set of 3D point or 3D to 3D pose estimation. So let's say we have a, a bunch of point in 3D which has been translated and rotated to a new pose and we're looking for R and T that gives us this uh, that map this point to these points and we assume that we don't have any scaling of course if you have a scaling we can just simply uh, uh, normalize the point here and here and then uh, we end up with uh, only uh, finding rot rotational translation so uh, finding uh, translation let's first build a, a coordinate system here so I draw the vector between these two points here and here between these three points. So if I uh, cross product this vector by this vector, I will get another vector which is uh, perpendicular to both of them. So this vector is perpendicular to this vector. These two are perpendicular to each other. If I multiply this again by a to one, I will get another vector which is uh, perpendicular to this one and this one. So now I have uh, three vectors, which are two by two pre perpendicular. So I have a, a coordinate system here. I can do it for a B2, which gives me uh, two frames that are uh, like this. Okay, uh, let's first find the uh, translation. Finding the translation is pretty easy. All you have to do is uh, subtract all of your points. Uh, from the uh, mean and then uh, the line that connects these two center is your translation it's pretty easy you just uh, compute the average so every i has x y z a i x x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 and so on you sum them and find the average for the x y and z here and x and y and z here and you just uh, uh, divide by the number and subtract them which gives you the uh, translation and after finding translation uh, we uh, shift all the point to the center so we only have a uh, uh, rotation problem so now uh, instead of R and T we are only looking for R that uh, minimize this term for us so uh, we're looking for R that minimize this term for us. And remember, this, this, is, this is a new A and this is a new B. Both of them are being shifted to the new center. So uh, let's review uh, Frobenius norm or a Euclidean norm. Uh, for a given matrix, uh, Frobenius norm or Euclidean norm is actually making every element a square and then sum them all and then get the uh, second root. So sum of all elements squared and then get the second root uh, we can write this as a trace of conjugate transpose of a matrix multiplied by uh, itself so a trace is a sum of element over the main diagonal if you transpose a matrix and multiply it by itself you will get this uh, all aij multiplied by each other and if you trace it, uh, get a computed trace, you sum the element over main diagonal, which is this term, and uh, uh, square root. So let's uh, write it down for Venus norm uh, based on the definition of trace. So it's going to be trace of uh, this term, uh, transpose it by itself, which gives us trace of this phrase. Uh, Let's review some pro uh, some properties of the uh, trace. We know that trace of A plus B is a uh, trace of them separately. We know that trace of uh, transpose of a matrix equal to itself. And we have the circulation property. That means D could go to the top and uh, then C go to the top and we can uh, circulate them. So uh, let's use these three property, separate them and uh, use a transpose and circulation property also we know that uh, 
we, we, we are looking for a minimize we are looking for a variable r that minimizes this term so a transpose a is actually a fixed number it's nothing about nothing to do with the minimization we can get rid of that we know that we are looking for r which is a translate which is a rotation matrix and we know that rt multiple r uh, is identity so we have b and bt here which again there are fixed numbers so trace of them uh, gonna have nothing to do with our minimization so we only have this term and this term and by using these two properties circulation and transpose we can actually write them in one term like this at rb uh, sorry uh, rb at and because we have a negative sign here our uh, minimization gonna be uh, it will turn into a maximization problem so uh, maximum trace of rb at we're looking for r that uh, maximize this term a and b are a uh, fixed number in our data set so uh, let's uh, write the svd for uh, these matrix b a t uh, b is a 3 by n and a is n by 3 so this is 3 by 3 the svd of this matrix is u s v and we know that u and v are uh, unit geometric matrices that means uh, if you multiply them by the conjugate transpose give us the identity and value on the s s is a, a diagonal matrix which has only value on the main diagonal and the values are eigenvalues sorted so the first one is the biggest one and gradually get smaller so trace of uh, rbat is equal to trace of uh, replacement by the svd which is usv transpose and again we can use the circulation property this vt could uh, turn here so now we have a trace of v t r u s and s is a, a matrix with a eigenvalue on the main diagonal and zero everywhere so because these are a unit matrices r v t and u the maximum value for them gonna be when the uh, product of this multiplication is identity that's gonna be the maximum value for them so the maximum value uh, for r that uh, maximize this is when this phrase is one so we call this z matrix z so uh, if this uh, value is equal to identity i can simply i'm looking for r r is a variable i can uh, uh, multiply by v t uh, v and u transpose from uh, left and right to get me the optimal r so this is a r that uh, minimize or maximize this term which actually gonna uh, minimize this term so the points gonna be uh, mapped to each other that's the r that we're looking for and that was a proof uh, this is exactly the same procedure that you do in many algorithm like umemia i don't know uh, uh icp iterative closest point you repeat this every step on every step you compute the new r and t uh, that uh, give you to the next step if you don't have any noise and points are exactly correct you only need to do this uh, once but if you don't have any uh if you have noise or if number of points is not fixed like you have uh, some points here and some missing points there then you have to do it uh, iteratively and use icp and you have to compute this uh, on every step to get the uh, optimal uh, rotation and translation thank you